what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel for those of you that don't know who i am my name is nikki and for those of you who do know me and you've shown so much love and support to my channel thank you so much for coming back for yet another video now before you even go any further i know i don't have my lashes on anymore now in the video you will see that i have my lashes on and you see like the completed look i'll even go ahead and insert a picture here so you can see what the look looks like with my lashes I totally forgot I had to film an intro and an outro for the video and I took my lashes off and I started getting comfortable I took my earrings off I was like dang and I was like I gotta work on editing this video so I can get it posted today and then I took my lashes off I don't know why I was just like just whoo taking lashes off is seriously like taking your bra off after a long day I'm telling you no joke what the young kids say now no cap you know whatever that means you know, <laughs> I ain't hip to the lingo, y'all. I'm 27. I feel like I'm 34, like I'm 35. Like I feel like I'm older than what I am. <laughs> but anywho, so I took my lashes off and I started getting comfortable. And I was like, I want to get comfortable, you know, when I'm editing my video. And I was just lounging around. And I was like, I have to film an intro and an outro. What am I thinking about? Like, what is wrong with me? So I will have a picture inserted so you guys can see what the makeup looks like looks like with the lashes but I, I think it's a banger like this I still think it's cute you know even with no lashes just get some mascara to situate the natural lashes that you have I don't have a lot of them but I still think the lash is very much so fire it's like a banger you know but you know what y'all be saying out here on YouTube I don't know but I, I still think it's very beautiful and it's very pretty now um as I've been rambling on and on about, this is a makeup tutorial on this pretty green look here. Um, it's kind of giving me like fall vibes, but the lip is giving me more so spring. But you know what? I don't even care because makeup has no rules, and I just love this lip color. And it was made by one of my favorite, you know, people, Kat Von D. Like she has like the best liquid lipsticks, and I love them so much. Just make sure your lips are moisturized when you apply. Cause I'm telling you, do me in trouble but anywho yeah she makes some of my favorite liquid lipsticks and they have beautiful amazing amazing colors so yeah i decided to um just do something that was very um greenish fallish you know i guess i had money on my mind i don't know but <laughs> i wanted to do something green because green was like green is my second favorite color and alongside purple but purple will always be my first love i will always have a special place in my heart for purple so purple will always be number one but green is the number two contender i'm telling you it's number two but um yeah so i decided to do a makeup tutorial saturday it's cold outside i didn't have anything to do but run a couple errands and i was like why not get glam to go to walmart you know that's that's what we do you know let's put the leggings on and a shirt and let's just have the face beat beat to the gods so I decided to just do my makeup because I really wanted to film a video for you guys. Um, I've been trying to get some makeup tutorials out for you. I have a lot, a lot, a lot of creative juices flowing in here of, of what types of looks that I'm going to be doing with in the coming seasons, especially holidays for the holidays. Oh my God, Christmas is right around the corner and I can't wait to get all glammed up with the glitters, the silvers, you know, the reds, you know, red lips. I, I just love holiday makeup. It's so inspiring to me. So I can't wait to get into these holiday looks for you guys. I'm going to be bringing them. I'm going to be bringing them next month. I'm going to be bringing them. So I can't wait to absolutely start holiday looks for you guys. All right, you know, enough with all the talking. You guys aren't here to hear me talk. You want to see the look. You want to see the makeup. And we're going to go ahead and get into that. So as always, keep watching if you want to see how I got the look. All right, you guys, so first, I'm going to hydrate. <laughs> yes, drinking water is very important. Um, and then next, I'm going to go in, and I am going to color correct using my F Camo Concealer. And I'm also going to sing a song in the shade Deep Olive. If you know me, I love Summer Walker. To know me is to know that I love Summer Walker. And that's exactly what I was listening to. I was listening to this whole album as I was getting ready. So I went in and took the e.l.f. Camo Concealer and Deep Olive to color correct and give my skin an even playing field and get rid of some of those dark spots. Next, I'm setting it with the Revolution Baking Powder in the shade Terracotta. It has an orangey kind of tone to it, so it does a great job at 
conceal and dark marks as well and i use this powder under my foundation a lot of the time too to really kind of give my skin a matte finish and make sure everything you know just kind of stays in place and i put throughout the day now for foundation i'm using the revolution conceal and define full coverage foundation in the shade f13 i'm using that on the outer perimeter of my face and i'm going to use f12 in the highlight areas now the reason i use f13 in the outer perimeter of my face is because i don't really have a foundation that quite matches my skin so using f12 and f13 the way that i do really just kind of balances everything out and kind of gets you know to my skin color a little bit closer and now i'm blending out the areas that i use f12 to highlight if you notice i didn't put any on my chin i've noticed that i've been getting a lot of flashback on my chin when i highlight my chin so today i just didn't do it and i probably will continue not highlighting my chin just opting you know for you know a different different step Next, I'm going in and I'm going to set after I finish blending out this side. Got a little ahead of myself. And I'm going to use the Kat Von D Lock It Setting Powder and Translucent. As you can see how everything is nice and smooth. And I'm drinking more water. And yes, this powder is white, but it didn't give me any flashback. I actually loved it. And I'm just taking a little bit extra to catch any fallout from the eyeshadows. Now I'm going in with this LA Colors Conceal Correct Highlighter. I'm using this as an eye primer and it serves as a great eye base. For eyeshadows, I'm going in with the Mini Masquerade Juvia's Place Palette. And the first shadow I am taking is in the shade Cairo. I think I'm saying that right. It's a nice, beautiful earth tone. And I'm using this as a translucent, um, translucent as a transition color. And I'm just popping it right into my crease. Next, I'm going to go in with a deeper um, earth tone shade, and this is Aka Aka. I'm not sure, Ada Ada. I'm not sure if I'm saying these shadows right, but you guys can see, you know, as I'm pointing to the shadows. So I, I apologize if I'm not pronouncing them correctly. I'm popping that right on top of the first shadow, and then I'm just going in with a fluffy brush and blending them, blending them out. Now I'm going back in with that highlighter and I'm going to kind of give myself a cut crease to make this next shadow I'm apply pop. And this one is my mouth. My, it's a pretty green shadow. Maybe I shouldn't even try to pronounce them because I'm not pronouncing it right at all. But this is Molly. Molly. And this is a beautiful green, a beautiful green shadow. I'm telling you, it's so pretty, so beautiful. I'm going to pop that right on my lid area. Next, I'm going in my Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette. And I'm going to take the shade Money Bags. And I'm going to pop that into my outer v area and this just blends into that green so nicely and this kind of gives me a little bit of depth without using like a black on the outer v area and that green really complements the first green so much so this is like a deeper um emerald green and i love it so much and it has some shimmer in it then i just went in and just blended out any harsh lines next i'm going in i'm going to create a wing i actually went a little bit longer than i intended to with the wing and i'm using this mac liquid liner and yeah as you guys can see i went a little bit longer than what i intended to but it's it's okay you know we want the drama we want the drama so i just went in and did the other side as well and yeah i know it's so easy to do my left out of my right eye next um i don't have a white liner so i'm just going to use this nyx jumbo pencil and milk just to create like a white waterline and to make my eyes open a little bit more then i'm taking the shade Cairo and i'm smudging it in my waterline and i'm gonna blend it out i'm sorry i'm taking the shade Ada and i'm blending it out with Cairo. Cairo. i think i'm saying these shadows right now i'm going in and i'm going to dust away that translucent powder and, and any fallout that i may have had it was really easy to get it off and i'm going in you already know ruby kisses mineral powder and chestnut to contour my face to make it nice and slim because i do have a fat round face and then i'm going to go with the shade Cairo as a blush and it just went with the look so beautifully and i'm setting my skin with the elf setting spray this is a dewy mist spray and i'm going in with the wet and wild highlighter 
And I think this is a is hustle and glow. I have everything linked down below, but um and listed down below so you guys can see what products I'm using. I'm using that to create a nice glow. Next, I'm gonna go in and I'm going to do an inner corner highlight. And I'm taking the same wet and wild highlighter that I use to highlight my face, popping it on the inner corner, and then now onto the lips. Taking this LA Colors lip liner in natural, and I'm also going to apply Kat Von D's liquid lipstick in Berlin. This is one of my favorite colors. I love the Kat Von D lipsticks. It's just so beautiful. I was using this color in spring and in summer, and it just went so beautifully. Only thing I will say is with these liquid lipsticks, make sure you moisturize your lips and you know put some Vaseline chapstick something on there and I'm just going in just touching it up making sure everything is nice and perfect and then I apply my lashes off camera I'll list down below the lashes that I use um so you guys will know which ones that I use I'm going to give them a final spray and that is pretty much it you guys and I hope you enjoyed all right, you guys, so this is the finished look. I inserted a picture in the intro so you guys can see what it looks like with the Fossey. I did enough talking in the intro, so I'm going to keep the outro short and sweet. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a nice big thumbs up. Share if you care. Comment down below. Let me know what types of videos you guys want to see next. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Peace.